the first thing you guys are going to do is you're going to fade out your lines that you drew so that it just looks like a stain. And really, it's one of these things that you can only see on here. So fade it to where it would not show through whenever you actually add your color on here, but don't completely erase. Make sure you sharpen your pencil really good. Uh, what will happen here, and I'll just show you with my example right here. You're going to have your heavier color on the edge, and then it's going to get lighter and lighter as you go towards this middle. The center section should be uh, pretty white, if not completely white with a few little streaks in it right there. But you see it's, it's dark, dark medium, medium light. That's what I'm wanting to see. I don't want to see dark to white. I want to see a progression as you go and you're going to go in the direction of your, your actual thing. So instead of using green right here, I'm going to use red just so you can see it a little bit better on the complement section. So um, what you need to do is on the outside area, you need to outline just real light. Okay, so after you just do a very, very light outline, you'll take it and lightly, even though this part will be relatively uh, dark right here you'll you'll take it and just initially start to and I'm, I'm looking at you know you look at your guidelines right there you could even make a mark where your guidelines were that's actually probably a smart idea make a little mark where your guidelines were and so you could take it and fill in your your lines as you go and I'm going to make these really 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 light as I get towards the center on the center I want to basically leave white it's basically what I'm doing here and what I want to do is if it's heavy here it's going to be heavy on the other side and I'm just taking these and I'm curving it in the direction of the form. What I'm doing is I'm making a few little slight ghost little marks, just little guidelines going across the center area. So it's not just a stark white. So it looks like a better transition, but basically this is white, um, especially where the central line is. You've got to make sure to leave that basically white. So what I'm doing right now, after I have just my base tone, so start off light with your base, then I'm going to go and I'm going to start to make it a little bit darker on each edge as I go. Now I'm making it lighter and lighter. I'm pressing lighter and lighter as I get towards the center with the knowledge that I'm going to add heavier tones here as I go. I'm just not getting heavy yet. It's still, this is semi-transparent, right? And I'm making sure to try to blend this thing. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with my outline. You can actually outline your outline. I'm gonna do that on either, either side. The light source is in the middle, so the darkness on the edge, like I said, you're gonna have it equal 
as equal as you possibly can. Then I'm going to start to add a little bit more opaque, which is not transparent layers, at least to this edge. And then I'm fading it out. I'm pressing down lighter, but still curving as I'm going towards the center. So I'll do the same thing, heavier here, and then lighter towards the center. Okay, I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna make another video real quick.